A few miles to the north, the towers of Bamborough Castle tumble into the sea, and how far, far, far away it all feels from that other and hideous Barbican in London. And at Berwick-on-Tweed, the heart soars when one contemplates the royal border bridge linking England to Scotland with its iron veins. It was built by Robert Stevenson in 1847. The first train to go over it was in 1848, and it was formally opened by Queen Victoria two years after it had been in constant use, alighting from her train for only 12 minutes to perform the important ceremony. When I look at it, I think something very different, which is the Everly Brothers, that exquisitely harmonising pair from Nashville, Tennessee, who I met on King's Cross Station 28 years ago. They were with Buddy Holly's crickets, and all of us together crammed into a tiny, tiny compartment, journeyed north, playing the guitar all night long. Last few yards of the Great North Road sweep down Regent Road into Waterloo Place and the elegance of Edinburgh. A triumphal arch was planned as a grand finale and as an entrance into the city, but it was never built, and two smaller ones rose up on either side instead, commemorating the Battle of Waterloo. But there is a jewel at the end of the Great North Road, one of the most glittering rooms in all of the British Isles. <laughs> Hooray for the Everly Brothers! It is 28 years since we met on the Flying Scotsman. For some obscure reason, I had a toy gun in my pocket that night, and I fired it off in their honour. Well, the way I recall, the, the actual meeting was, mm -hmm. we were all walking to the uh, train, take the night train to Edinburgh, and we had, the crickets were with us. Donald was walking in front of us, and he got on, and we heard a shot. And we jumped up, because we all got scared, and there you were. I remember 17 year old English beauty, and there, there you go. Seeing yes, you that's... approaching, and there's that special smell and that noise. I don't remember it that <laughs> way. <laughs> I remember you saying, Oh, have you tried the scotch? And open your purse, and I'll ruin the loop. So stupid. I've never had a flask. <laughs> I've never had a flask of whiskey in my What's a flask? It was a small bottle. Of course, I've never had a bottle of whiskey in my sure? bag. Sure? Certainly particular. not. I've never drunk it in my life, nor have I ever had it with me. It was a great time, though. You took me again. around in London and found me those pointed shoes. And they were teddy boy shoes, they called them at the time. Yeah, points came. This is long, you know, the points, real well, pointed. A, a good point in fact, I wore them and they were so pointed, the toes turned up eventually, you know, it just looked a little bit like a leprechaun at the end. Look, you don't remember doing that? No, I don't. What, what year are we talking about? It's got to be the same year. It's got to be 1960. My happiest memories is sitting all of us crushed into that, into that tiny compartment with the guitars all night. All the orchestration being there in the compartment. With, the with, whole band? Yeah. <laughs> Everything up. <laughs> That's a nice 17 year old memory, though. Yes, it really is. All the way up to Edinburgh. I think how exciting for the people in the fields as we pass too, the wailing town. So we have done it. We've come all the way up through the glories of England to the glory of Scotland, up the backbone of Britain, the Great North Road. Uh -huh. 